Well, thanks, David. Jason Zimmerman also out covering the snowfall today across the Fox Valley, which got a little bit more of a wallop. Boy, they sure did. Well, he's live in Grand Chute speaking with the drivers and those about to head out for some trick-or-treating. Jason. Bill and Cammy, while the snow has let up, it is still a cold night for anyone planning to put on a costume and go door to door. Trick or treating started about an hour ago here in Grand Chute, and it comes after a winter blast that caught a lot of drivers off guard this morning. Waking up Tuesday morning, many drivers found themselves putting on the brakes for a slow commute on Interstate 41. At times, flashing lights were a constant sight, which included this three-car crash just south of the Richmond Street exit in Grand Chute. It's terrible. A lot of people don't know how to drive and like to be speed racing around, so we saw a lot of uh, um, cars that have slid off the road. What's it been like out there? Ah, uh, slippery. Slippery, so it wasn't very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you saw. Um, well, honestly, earlier this morning it was very foggy, couldn't really see anything, mm -hmm. uh, but it's kind of calming down, so the visibility is much better now. Other people said the snow forced a last minute run to the store. For Megan Ketch, it was to buy her child a pair of boots before being able to celebrate Halloween. It's surprising. I don't know that I remember a snowy Halloween, um, but he loves it, so I guess. Hopefully it doesn't stop too many families from coming out. In downtown Appleton, a group of sisters were wedding dress shopping as the snow kept falling. What do you think? Oh, we're ready. Well, I mean, it's Halloween, but we're ready for Christmas now. <laughs> and for those on the road, it was a clear signal that it's time to get reacquainted with winter driving. It wasn't going to be that bad, and then being stuck right in the middle of it for appointments today wasn't that great. But just uh, drive slow. And if you still plan to go out and trick or treat tonight, you have a few more hours to do so in most area communities. But again, it's still cold, so be sure to bundle up. Reporting live in Grand Chute, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.